This week for Feed My Pet Friday, I'd like to introduce you to my snapping turtle, Chloe. She came to me through the rescue that I work with in Minnesota, and she was originally a wild-caught hatchling. A family took her in as a little quarter-sized hatchling off the road, saying they saved her and then wanted to keep her as a pet. And to be honest, if you see a snapping turtle in the wild, it's best just to leave it in the wild, FYI. But since she had been in captivity for about three years or so with this family and then surrendered to the rescue, it was not recommended that she be released into the wild because she could have picked up some immunities to certain pathogens or diseases that she would then introduce back into wild populations of turtles. So for turtles and other reptiles that are kept in captivity for an extended period of time, it's best just to leave them in captivity in that case. She loves to hunt. I give her a lot of live minnows, so it provides her with a form of enrichment. She also does eat, you know, the commercial turtle pellets too and earthworms. She'll eat shrimp, or if I have a smaller snake that didn't want to eat their pinky, she'll take care of that for me. And she is about ready to upgrade her tank. She is a little bit outgrown this one, so we're going to be moving her up here pretty soon. Chloe is friendly enough that I can bring her to my reptile programs with me. I don't bring her all the time, just for my turtle-specific programs, and although she is friendly, I do have kind of a makeshift guard that goes around her head, just in case she were to decide to snap. You can never be too safe with these guys, because that beak can definitely do a lot of damage. So that's Chloe for you, my common snapping turtle. Don't forget to vote for next week's Feed My Pet Friday by clicking on the I at the top of the screen and voting for who you would like to see fed next week.